Okay, so here's my crimper. And I'll be crimping some uh, terminals. I got several different sizes here. I got the uh, 3 8 inch double lot or 2 aught with the double lot. And then I got the 2 aught uh, with the um, 5 16 which is the same as like uh, 8 millimeter, I believe. So we're going to go with those. And then the heat shrink I'll be using is this 3 quarter inch. We got some red and black. Okay, this morning we're going to do a little crimping of the wire here. For the this is going to go into the fuse here, so I need to crimp that on there. And these are the three five sixteenths, which is about the same as a eight millimeter, so that should work good there. So what you want to do is uh, measure back about three quarters of an inch on this particular uh, crimp lug, and uh, that's where we'll strip it off there. So measure back, and we'll be do putting some. Uh, heat shrink on there too so. and we'll put a little tape on there just to make sure we're cutting kind of straight just kind of match that up on the other side there and then we'll be a pretty good guy so now we'll strip it off here and be careful not to go into the copper <laughs> We'll slip a piece of uh, heat shrink on there. Might make it a little bit longer than the, uh, yeah, probably about right in there. We got a good amount on there. And we'll heat shrink that later. I didn't make any of the wires because I don't see any wires hanging in there. Okay, now all those wires are good and shiny, ready to be crimped. So now the crimper I use, I bought off of Amazon. It's not an expensive one, it's kind of a, a knockoff of a real expensive one, but so far it's worked really well. So this is a YQK-120. <clears throat> and the die I'm using, what they call a number 50, so that's 50 millimeters. So 50 millimeters is just about right for crimping the uh, the uh, two watt wire crimp, uh, crimpers crimp. So so far it's worked pretty well. So I'll show you how that works. I'll give it a little bit of a crimp here just to hold it in there. And I usually crimp it twice. Now it's held in there good. Now we'll stick that into the lug. Make sure no wires are misaligned. I do have some wires misaligned there. Give it a nice twist. Now we can continue off with the crimp, making sure that stays in there. So all we do is start pumping the handle. Until those dies meet and release it. Now that's pretty crimped there. I did just a couple little wires there, but I don't think those in there. And now I usually crimp it again on that end just to have kind of a double crimp there. So we'll put it back in there and move it towards the end. I 
going to line up the crimp marks of the other one. Looks pretty good. And we'll crimp that one. All the way till those dies meet again. And then that's it. That is crimped. Now this is one wire there, but yeah, sometimes you get these little ears on here. It's, it's kind of over crimped, so I cut those off. And then I'll give it a little file there. There's no sharp, sharp edges. Now I've tested these crimps, put them in a bias, and tried to pull them out. And you can't pull them out. That piece too. So now we'll fold any of those little miscellaneous wires on there. And we'll put on the heat shrink. Now I heat shrink it just about all the way up to the terminal, just where you get the contact there. So and we'll get our heat gun down. Give it a good heat all the way around. And voila, we have a heat shrink. Now this will go on here. That will be the fuse. And then this fuse holder will look over there if it's good. So that's basically my fuse. And then from the fuse, it's going to go into a, a switch. And then uh, the controller and all that. So anyway, that's that for that video. And like I say, the crimper, I'll put the description down there of that where you can get it. Well, I ordered these on the, uh, I think it was the 27th of August, and they came in on the the, the 9th here of uh, September. So these are the Chins batteries. The supposed to be 300 amp hour batteries, 12 volt, and I'll put them in series for 24 volt. So let's open them up and see what we got. Okay, they look like they're well packed in foam and double box, so that's good. There's the battery down there. In this battery. The connectors, it looks like some information here. So, see if I can lift one of these out of the box here and put it up on the bench. Okay, there's battery one of two. The Chin's 12.8 300 amp hour. Now I'll put in series for, for uh, about 7,000 watt hours and 300 amp hours at 24 volts. And it looks like here's the hardware for the, the top. There's the M8 bolts, I believe. And let the fun begin. Now this Chin's battery, looks like it comes with a decent uh, manual with the, all the Bluetooth information and how to charge it and all that. So. And then uh, it comes with this little uh, guide here about the company and precautions and warranty information and all that so pretty well done for a chinese company i think specs looking forward to the install okay this is the ac charger i just got in the blue blue uh, smart victron ip67 I've got two of these, so I'm going to parallel them for uh, basically 30 amps here, so what else we got in the box here? Now these are supposed to be smart, so you can hook up to the Bluetooth and get the information, current going in, voltage, and that kind of thing, so 
I'll hook those up to the battery and uh, see how they do. They're actually 12 amps, so 2 times 12 will be 24 amps that I'll have total going in when I'm plugged into AC. Now this is the DC to DC charger, 24 volts to 24 volts. Why you need this is that uh, if your 24 volt alternator is set up for AGM or lead acid batteries, it's too high of a voltage to uh, deal with the lithium. So this basically does is you uh, put in the uh, DC from the alternator and it converts it into a lower voltage for the lithium battery. So see what we got in here. Pretty simple and it's also smart so you should be able to get some information. Very well built. I like this Bitcoin equipment. So we'll go on from there and uh, start hooking things, things up here. Now this is basically how I have them hooked up uh, in uh, series for charging and I've got a question in to Chins, their support department, to see if it's better to charge them individually It's 12 volt to keep them balanced or if this will be okay. So. I'm waiting back to hear from them on that.